whole of India is dying of diabetes. In the next 10 years, everybody will be diabetic in India. What they don't tell you is, if you give statin to everybody, 10% to 47% will become diabetics in one year. Statin can produce diabetes in you. This is not told to you, and you don't read. Who reads science? I'll tell you what happened in Harvard Medical School five years ago. You'll be surprised today. We do so much of intervention. We call ourselves divine interventionalists. And do you know the meaning of the word intervene? There are three meanings in the Western species. The last is called go in between with malice. I'll tell you a latest study. In America, we have the American College of Cardiology. We are about 26,000 fellows. When the uh, conference occurs, 20,000, on an average, about 20 to 25,000 people attend. So a professor, is not a professor, he's an assistant professor at Harvard. He had a hypothesis that 25,000 cardiologists leaving the intensive care unit for five days to attend their conference, it is very bad for patients. All the bad patients will die. So he said, they should not have this conference. They must split it into four or five and have regional conferences, not national conference. But he wanted evidence. We have evidence now, evidence-based medicine. What is evidence? I'll come to it later. And he collected evidence. He saw 30 hospitals in the Massachusetts area to see what happens to patients seriously, patients with a heart attack, patients with intractable heart failure, patients with cardiac arrest, etc. When doctors, cardiology survey from 2004 to 2014, and 10 years data shocked him. Do you know what the data said? Hardly anybody died when they were away. Hardly anybody died. Please read this paper because you don't get to read these papers because the company people don't pick up the papers and bring it to you. The papers they pick up and bring it to you is whole of India is dying of diabetes. In the next 10 years, everybody will be diabetic in India. What they don't tell you is if you give statin to everybody, 10% to 47% will become diabetics in one year. Statin can produce diabetes in you. This is not told to you and you don't read. Who reads science? I'll tell you what happened in Harvard Medical School five years ago. The professor of pharmacology was talking on statins for a long time. He talked and talked and talked. A third year student got up and said, sir, you're talking like a company representative. You're talking science and you're teaching us in Harvard. What happens to a student who gets up in Harvard and a distinguished professor, he says that he becomes an outstanding student, you know, standing outside the class. This boy investigates further. And within two years, he finds out that this professor has 47,000 shares in that company producing statins. And he has received $25 million over the years for lectures, consultations, and what have you. Of course, he lost his job. He's in jail. But then the Harvard University tried to find out how many of their professors on the payroll. Would you believe 48% of the professors in Harvard University are on the payroll of the drug company? You must have, you know, blood pressure is a very common disease. Every five years, there's a JNC committee. Ten of them sit there. They're supposed to be thought leaders. And they bring down the lower level. Well, when I was a student, I was told blood pressure normal for an adult must be 160 systolic and 100 diastolic. It, when I became a doctor, it became 140 by 90. When I became a little more senior, it became 120, 70, 80. And then recently, it became 110 by 70. Did you get that? Now, I was discussing with some of these members asking them, how on earth did you cover this? They said, we have evidence. Said, Where is the evidence? I have not been able to get any evidence. I'm a member of the International Society of Hypertension. I'm a member of the Glasgow Society of Hypertension. But we don't have any evidence. And now, three of those members are in jail. They've got so much money from the drug company. And now they have a new president called Marvin Mosser, who is a very nice professor of hypertensionology in the New York University. Marvin, the JNC-8 says, the blood pressure normal must be 159, not 160, like Bata Shu. And not 100, but 99 for 100. If you are a diabetic and a bad one at that on drugs, it must be 140 by 90. See, where are we? Now, where is your evidence? See, today's, uh, what is that called? That Karnataka English paper? Deccan Herald. There's a nice article from the United States of America which says, sense use in stable angina patients is worse than ordinary medicine. I have written 30 years ago about this, almost from the time Andreas Grunzig started trending. 